What is multimedia? Introduction to multimedia systems. Now, multimedia systems are systems that are information systems that include a combination of the following media. So these are text, okay? So symbols and numbers, which if they are text are just seen as symbols, but if they're numbers, they're registered as having a numerical value. We've got images, which are still forms of colors and shapes, which make up obviously a visual image. We've got audio, which reflects sound. Animation, which is moving pictures, okay, but usually in a graphical drawn format. And then we've got video, which is recorded from the real world. So multimedia packages are made up of combinations of these together. Now, the other element that's also included in multimedia is hyperlinks and hypermedia. Now, these allow for multimedia packages to have these media types, but they can be clicked on and through URLs that are in the actual media's metadata, take the user to another location. So it's not just a single form of media. These media items lead to more media and thus we create our multimedia packages. So an item will be classified as multimedia if it incorporates at least three different types of media, which is in contrast to print media, which can only display two forms of media. And those two forms of media, if you can think of it on top of your head, are text and image. When you pick up a piece of paper, it can't have audio, it can't have animation, it can't have video, and it can't have hyperlinks, but it can have text and image. So try to think of it like that. To be multimedia, you've got to at least then have three. You've got to have one of those on top of that. So it's got to be able to have animation or video and so on. Multimedia applications are presented on devices such as computers, tablets, mobile phones, and other digital devices. Since multimedia is digital, it allows for interactivity with the user. And this is the main big advantage. It's user oriented They can click on where they want to go or what they want to watch, and then the system responds and shows the user that data. And they can navigate the product using hyperlinks and pre-programmed buttons and gestures, especially if they're using touch devices like their phone or their tablets. Areas where multimedia may be used includes websites, movies, games, apps, and information chaos. So that's just a quick introduction into multimedia and essentially what multimedia systems is going to be about. We're going to go a lot deeper in this unit into what actual multimedia systems do, what they're used for, the hardware and software involved with that. But I hope this has given you a basic understanding of what multimedia is.